Welcome to an out of the box overview video. Today I am looking at a print and play game called Metas. Um, this game is currently on Kickstarter at the time of this video. Um, so anything you see is potentially changing. And I have been provided with these by the designers to do this video. So Metas is a game of conquest. It is about gaining influence in different regions on a map and um, dominating. It's a two-player game, one to two-player game. I am going to be playing the one-player game, the solo version, in which case, in where you play the state and there's an insurrection and you are trying to dominate areas on this board to um, put down that insurrection. It's print and play, so I have printed it, laminated it, um, it also works with um, pencils. You'll need two colours. I'm going to play red versus blue. Um, you need a whole lot of dice. But the maximum you need is 12. I've got 11 and I'm pretty much um, okay with that. In terms of the way that the game works, it is a map influence game with some dice placement. So every so the turn structure is you take a dice, and you pick one of the abilities. So you've got a whole lot of advisors that allow you to change the map. They either give you money, they give you influence, they allow you to have troops, or you can deploy troops on the map as you try and dominate each of these regions. Each region has its own number. So this one's got seven spaces, this has got 11, this has got 10. So it's really easy to see where the regions are. You put a dice down, so say I want to go with a general. So I pick a general and I get um, four revenue, um, revenue um, reserve troops so I would mark them off in the troops down here so say so I'll do that I get four troops that I can use later on um, then you would roll the dice for the insurrection player oh okay I got a two um, insurrection player has a whole lot of abilities at the top which then trigger so you put this on the two which is the scoundrel you would do that which is for every unscored region where the state has more strength you get to place an influence then the revenue uh, the um, insurrection player well automata then gets to put it on one of your actions if it's one that already has a dice like this case i rolled badly um it would also get that action so in this case, it would put a four troop army directly on the map. So say I had another turn and I decided to go with Spymaster. So Spymaster, I put a four on there. Um, it matches the four. I would get to put two, two influence next to two places that the insurrection had. And the insurrection would roll their dice. Oh, I don't want to get a four. I'll get something else. I don't want a two either. Let's roll, roll, keep on, keep on rolling until I get something I want. Oh, seriously? Okay, I rolled a five. If I roll a five, it would go there first. I would do the mob action, which is seven, seven influence somewhere on the map. Um, and then when I've done the insurrection action, that would then go there. Um, it hasn't, it doesn't trigger because there wasn't another dice there, but it does lock that up. So as a player, now I've only got three choices for me to select to put a dice. At any point in my turn, I can go, oh, I don't want to place any more dice. I've had enough. Then you go to the next phase. The next phase is you have to bribe all your advisors. So each space that has any dice costs you a gold. So gold is a currency. Then I get to use these, I have these extra, what are they called? They're not called advisors, they are called, there's a special word for them. They are called loyalists. I've got loyalists at the bottom. And so this is the kind of balance between insurrection getting an action and then potentially an advisor and locking it up. I then get to use my dice on my loyalists that then give me extra actions. And that's the end of the round. And let's rinse and repeat. And repeat. That being said, we've also got a a kind of a, a scoring track on the right hand side. Here we have got fear, um, morale, adoration, and dominance. And this is how we win or lose the game. 
And so say I get fear because I've got troops in a region, I would say, well, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down. So if I got four fear, I'd mark off four fear. Then if the insurrection got some fear, say they got two, you'd cross that out and then you'd go back two. And then say if they got another, so then if I got, say, another two fear, I'll go there, oh, that one's already taken, I'm moving there. So I'm slowly moving to this area here. If I can get three of these, I win the game. If they get three of those, they win the game. And if you get to the end of the game and all the, all the regions have been um, filled in, then um, you look at the scoring. And so you've got this kind of tug of war. You can only go in each space once, and if you land on a space that's already been taken, it slowly grows it towards your goal. So it's quite a clever mechanism in terms of um, the kind of pulling and pulling of what's pulling and pushing and pulling of, of the state of the nation, as it were. As I said before, the currency is gold, you use gold, and in this particular mode, the insurrection don't actually spend any gold. So, there we go, that was a bit of a, a quick overview. Let's play some turns, then you can have a think about whether you like it or not. So, um, I'm going to start with, I like putting the blue down here, and I'll have the insurrection up there. That keeps my, keeps my head around it. I start with 10 gold. Insurrection start with no gold. Um, we start at the capital, Astoria. Oh, when you when you complete a whole area within a region, you get to score it. That changes the tracks. A whole lot of other things happen, um, and then there's other impacts in the game that you get gold if you've got scored areas, and ultimately that that's a good thing to get and there's little dots under there that you tick off depending on who scored it. You start with one region on either side of the capital. In a normal turn, the first turn the player goes first, then every other turn the insurrection, the automata goes first by rolling a dice. However, there's in your loyalists there is a option you can spend a pair of dice if you've got two dice that you've moved across. Um, that allows you to go first, and that's sometimes really useful. Anyhow, we start. We've got everything to play for. Um, so I have got um, all kinds of things I could do. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the prince, because the prince is a good one, because I get to put one influence anywhere, and I'm going to grab a small one that I think I can use. I'm going to grab this one. So I'm going to grab that one. I also get two troops to retinue, reserve troops, which I can then deploy later, and I'll get gold. And gold's always important because when you get to the bribery phase, um, you need gold. So then we roll for the insurrection. Get a three. Orator. Okay, I'm going to just check these because there are... Three influence, not adjacent to influence of either state. So basically three. And I could put them anywhere. I'm playing with the automata, so I can play. Do I want to be mean to me or I want to be happy? Um, so I've, I've got to put in three um, that don't have any neighbours. So I think the insurrection would go in here. I'm going to play mean to me. They're going to try and take over the capital. And then they can put one anywhere else. And it would be very annoying for me if they went here. Because I was planning on using that next round. So I'm going to play worse for me and see how that pans out. That dice then moves across to here. Because there isn't a dice there, it doesn't trigger it. But it does block it. Which is kind of annoying. So now it's my turn. Um, what do I get with the Chancellor? I think the Chancellor is a good one. Chancellor gets me one influence adjacent and four gold. Actually, though, I think I'm going to do the Baron. Because the Baron's great, because I get to put three down that are adjacent. So I pick this one. Oh, but they can't cross rivers. So that's, that's where that has been annoying, because I was going to put three along there. And I can't put it across a river, so I can't do that. So I'm not going to do the Baron. I am going to do the um, Chancellor. 
because the Chancellor allows me to put one, I think, anywhere. Where are you? Chancellor, Chancellor, Chancellor. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be adjacent. So that's a six. So I put a six on there. I can put one adjacent. Um, I'm going to put it in here. I don't want to lose my capital. But the best thing is I get four gold. Um, and gold is important. So that's going to knock me up to 15. Okay, then as for action goes, they get a six. So they get to rally. They get two gold for every region in which they have more strength. Three if they control. So there's no control. That one's an even. I've got two. They've got three. So they're going to get two gold. Okay. And then that goes on to six. And that means they get to put one next to one of their own. And I reckon they would lock this one off. Try and gain the capital. And they're going to get four gold. So they are now on six. So you do do a lot of rubbing off. Okay. So now I can decide to carry on. I think I might go with the spy actually while I'm here. I don't really want to do my um, end of turn. Spy master, two influence adjacent to an enemy. So there's four. So I find a four. Um, where do I want to stick that? Because I can stick that there and go Okay, so now we're even in the capital. I'm going to try and put some troops in next round. Insurrection. That's if they don't block me. Oh, that went off the table. Never to be seen again. Two. Oh, horrible. Scoundrel. Once per unscored region where the state has more strength than equal, I get to put one. More strength or equal. So neither of these are scored. Um... They're equal, so they get a free influence. And here it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and they get another free influence. Which is fine, but that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is this two now goes here and blocks the general, which I wanted to play next turn, which is very annoying um, because I can't tag that one, which I was going to put my two troops in there, score the region, and win, win that region, hopefully. Okay, so I could do the Baron, but I can't do it across rivers, and I've got no other influence anywhere. So that's not a, that's not a good idea. So then we go to the. I wonder who do the morale. There's a morale check at some point. Um, okay, I got to pay off first. So I'm not going to play any more dice. I'm going to move to the next phase, which is I pay off one. We keep the dice in the same orientation. So one two three four five it's going to cost me so i'm down to ten and then we do a morale check and that is the difference between gold so it's a difference of four so i get four morale which is handy one two three four so we don't put a tap i'm gonna do it with a circle and because the insurrection doesn't lose any gold, they accumulate a lot of gold. So getting some morale early is kind of useful. Now I can spend these on my loyalists. And again, they have numbers, and you match the numbers with the dice. That being said, I want to move, I want to be the first next round, because we're going to round two. Uh, normally the insurrection would be first, so I'm going to take my doubles, my pair, and I'm going to pay for that, and that allows me to go first next round. That's these two. These two uh, you can spend a double on. Then I can spend my other things. And I'm going to pull up my sheet so I know what I'm doing. Um, and I want to go, I've got, I haven't got any ones, which is a pain. I've got a captain, which is, what can I do with a captain? I can deploy an army or gain two. What have I got there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. I'm going to use the captain and deploy my army. So I'll rub off my two. And I get to stick a two in here. And we'll score that in a minute. And that gives you a... So I got that in the end, which is really good. Um, three. I just think I get one adjacent to one of my areas. I'll 
I'll take this one because I'm trying to grab that one and it's adjacent there. A four will give me a spy. I can put one next to a neighbor. So I'll grab that one. I'll slowly take over that one. And then a five is a consort. Consort lets me stick one anywhere. I could take this one, but sometimes it's good to have a an, an area that you're starting again so that you can play the Baron and gives you three and that's a really good way of and I'm going first next turn so I've used all my loyalists awesome so they can all go back into the they go back into the dice pool this one's now been finished so we can score it so so the score is we look at here and we look at who's got the highest army um, and I have an army of two in there so the difference they've got no armies i've got a two so i get two fear which is handy okay then we look at um, dominance and uh, adoration so the player with lower strength that was them gets adoration which is the heart so they've got one two three four five so they get five adoration one, two, three, four, five and then dominance, we do something with that. Um, play with the higher strength gains dominance equal to the size of the region. And so this region is a region 10. And so I'm going to go straight down to a 10 there. And I will tag that off in the dot on the left because I'm playing left. Insurrection on the right. And I have scored the capital, which is a pretty good start. Right then. So then that you know you've, you've had a good good um overview then because we've scored a region we've played a full turn we're getting our charts going let's do another turn um and that should give you a more of a taster okay so i spent my two pairs that allowed me to do this so i can go first i'm going to grab the baron and that allows me to put i can't cross rivers but i can put three influence against an adjacent so i can tag this this place here which i was planning one two three so that's a really this is a 13 region so that's a really good one to go insurrection oh, it's a one so they do a riot okay look, riot's a little tricky I think. so we get to look at find two empty spaces that have the most amount of adjacent enemy influence or an army so we're going to have a riot where I have influence. Okay. Oh, form an army that has the most amount of enemy influence. Adjacent area containing. Do this again. Okay. So that one scores. It's probably going to be in here. Because they're nowhere else. They can't do it in there. Oh, and they can do it on the edge though. Rivers don't count. So it's probably going to be there. So they're going to get an army of two. That pops into here having a bit of a riot over the river and then they get to do it again and so if we then look at this one it's another two because there's one there it's just, it's just um presence so they get another so i think i put it i think i put it there so now they've got four armies in there which is pretty good for them okay then it's one which goes on top of here. So they get the trigger the Baron. And so they can get three. So technically they could go. Um, I'll grab this one. One. Oh no, that would be a dumb one. Because you want it, you, they're gonna they're gonna want to maximize where they are. So but they can grab that one. One, two, Oh no, that's yeah, that's all they oh they they can't go over rivers because it's the barren. Um and that one isn't adjacent and they've got nowhere else where they could get three. So that's the best they can do. Still not great for me. Okay, I am going to um do my prints again. Because having an army is always handy. Um so I get an influence anywhere, I believe. Prince gives me an influence anywhere on the map. I'm tempted to try and lock this one up. Scoring regions is a good idea. I get two army, written new, reserve army, and I get um, a gold. 
which is going to be handy. Boom. Okay, they are going to go one. So they're going to have another riot. Okay, so now if they pick this one, they've got two neighbours. Oh, they've got their two neighbours there. I think that's a remnant from the last game. Okay, well maybe put another army there. Oops, that's the wrong colour. Oh, where's my red pen? Here we go. Okay, we're going to have a two army there. Um, and then we do right again, which gives them a two army there. And goes on the stack, triggers that again. So they get another Baron, which is three. And because they could pick this one, they could take that one, that one, and that one. So they are absolutely dominating in that area, which is not great. Getting a lot of dice there as well. Oh, I get to place one. Um, I wonder if I can take this one. I could stick an army down there. What have they got? They've only got two, and I've got four. I don't need to spend my army. Um, why don't I just do my cardinal? I get to place two. The cardinal is a three. So I'll whack a three on there. I'll take that one, which I'm going to score in a minute. Has to be next to a neighbor, and I'll stick this one down here. And then they roll their dice. They get a one. Oh, they got a three, which is the orator. So they get. Three influence not adjacent to influence of either side. So they're basically growing into, and it could be anywhere. So, you know, they could go one, two, three, which really spreads them out. And when, if they get the Baron, that would be disastrous. Then they get a three, which is they get a Cardinal. And a Cardinal was, Oops, wrong page. Cardinal is one influence next to your existing, twice. So they could just grow those, pick one of those. So even though I'm gonna score one in a minute, um, I think I'm a little bit in trouble. So I'm gonna stop there. They've had their turn, I've got some dice I can spend. So I'm gonna pay off my advisors. That's gonna cost me three gold, which knocks me down to eight then we do the morale check for gold difference of two so i get a bit more morale and morale is the circle i do believe yep so i get two more so i'm going to cross that off and i get two more so i'm now here so i'm slowly getting towards my win game those are then free for all I'll spend those two so I can go twice next round. I've also got a five, which is I can stick something anywhere. I'm a little bit worried about here, so let's stick one here so we can um, stop that. Duke is, I think I get to put two next to one adjacent to one of my areas. So I can then, because doing the order is quite important, so I can then tag that one and that one, um, and then I've got two threes, but I can only use it once. I could use one of these, um, or I can use my deacon. I wonder what spend a pair does. Uh, spend a pair allows us, um, that's a tax levy, cross out a region's name you control to gain gold or revenue equal to that. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I could cross out there and get 10 troops, which I think I'm going to do. So I do that, I cross off some of my capital, and I get 10 troops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Because deploying troops is a really good way of recapturing an area. So that's all my loyalists done. Now we might as well score this. So um, there are no armies there. So no fear happens. Um, I gain dominance equal to the region, which is seven. 
So dominance is the little shield. So I go, that can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I am dominating the map, but that's going to flip flop when they start scoring other regions and it starts going back the other way. Adoration, they had two. So they get two, two of those. And um, what else do we have to do? Strength, there's no fear. Yeah. So we do dominance, fear, and adoration when we score a region. And the morale gets done at the end of the turn based on the gold, which I'm managing better. And then we start again. Um, I paid the price, so I would go with my dice again. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because that gives you a feeling of this one, you know, the insurrection is going to take that one fairly quickly. Um, and then these other things are going to change um, as, you know, you cross them out and you start moving in the other direction. So that is a bit of an overview of um, Metis. I like it in terms of um, the back and forth. You can make plans, and if you're playing as an insurrection, you can just put things in random places, but as things grow, um, like I've spaced them out, it can just explode and you can die really quickly. Um, it can go, go, go horribly wrong really fast. Look at this place. This place has just got, you know, that went from, from where I'm on turn two, and they've got two, four, six, eight army in there, which is going to give them eight fear when they score it. Um, and fear only goes up to ten. If you get to the end, it just blocks. It can still come down again, but you can't go further than that. But once you've got three in that region, that's the end game. There's some rules on making it harder. Um, anyway, this is currently on Kickstarter. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like.